Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I want to show you how to make an alcohol-free natural perfume. Now, one of the biggest issues when normally trying to create this type of product is you're limited to essential oils. And of course, essential oils already come from nature as these pre-packaged aromatic compounds. Well, CPL aromas have taken isolates from essential oils and other plant extracts and then created these amazing fragrance compounds you can use in personal care to fragrance them or like in the video I'm going to show you today to create natural perfumes. The key difference is that essential oils normally come as a complex mixture of aromatic compounds, but they're put together by nature. So they are what they are. And this is why if you mix different essential oils, you can get some beautiful blends, but you're still limited in the full range of aromatic compounds or aromas that you can create. What CPL aromas have done is use fractional and molecular distillation to isolate specific aromatic compounds from plant extracts and essential oils. They've also used green chemistry processing methods to put together new and amazing aromas. The result is vegan friendly, sustainable and substantive aromatic blends that compete with your more synthetic fragrances in their complexity and aromatic profiles. They can even create you hypoallergenic aroma blends. Now, as you may be aware, essential oils and fragrances usually contain quite a few allergen substances. Again, CPO aromas can take fractions from different aromatic compounds and combine them in a way to give you a truly amazing fragrance, but without any of the 26 EU allergens present. Let me show you how to put the perfume formula together. Here is an example of some CPO aroma samples that I've worked with, but of course you can get a whole lot more. Speak with your CPO representative to find out about their full naturals range. Now one of the things about these materials is they are highly polar, which means when you're using an emollient as the base, you need to make sure it too is quite polar. I'm using Dermaphil Sensolve as my emollient base in this formula because it's got a very light, silky skin feel without residual greasiness. Now to this base, I simply add my CPL aroma, my fragrance, and some antioxidant, and then stir to combine. It really is that simple. And this will create a totally sprayable formula. Or you can also use it in a rollerball type application for more direct application to certain areas. Please contact us for the full details of this free formula. Now, when you do get these details, you will see I have used quite a high input of the fragrance, and that's because I'm making a perfume. I've used the same sort of amount of fragrance that I would use if I was making a synthetic or ethanol based perfume. In this case, I've used a really light skin feel emollient to avoid the ethanol, but still make it stable. It's also going to add some moisturizing properties to the skin because of the use of this emollient. In regular personal care, you would again use quite small inputs of these natural fragrances, the same as you would for synthetic fragrances, depending on the formulation that you're creating. Well, that's how easy it is to create natural fragrances when you have the right materials. Please contact CPO Aromas to find out more about their materials. And remember, you can split packs with people on our Cosmetic Raw Materials for Small Brands Facebook group if you're interested in using some of their fragrances, but maybe won't need to use a full minimum order quantity from CPO Aromas. There'll be someone else out there like you looking to share a pack. So please post on that Facebook group and get formulating with these amazing natural fragrances today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. 
Happy formulating!